So I don't know if you guys actually spotted this in the last video, but we have a 2021 Sierra 450R chassis sitting right here. I am going to leave it up to you guys. I sometimes get to a point where I want to build the coolest build, but I want to make sure you guys actually want to see it. You know, sometimes we do things like make blue Hondas. You're going to get that on those big jobs sometimes. But uh, as you can see, we always have tons of different builds going on. But this build to me is really special. It's not easy to get this chassis, um, especially as a roller. So Walsh Racecraft, they just purchased this bike. They took the motor out. They're building custom quads as they always do. And I asked Mike, I said, hey man, what are you doing with the chassis? So he was cool enough to sell it to us. He got it shipped up here really fast. It only took a few days to get it here. So we're pumped, but I want you guys to tell me what you want to see. I mean, you guys know what these are like. I mean, you've seen all the pictures online. Um, I want to put my twist on it. So this thing could be a trike. It could be a big wheel. We could stuff the Sierra 500 motor in there. As you know, the frames are a little bit easier to convert on these new Hondas. If you guys want to see another 500 trike, I mean, let me know. We can do it. So we have a couple motors sitting on the bench over there. We've been buying those up as much as we can. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped. I mean, this, this bike, this thing's pretty cool. So what do you, what do you guys think about stuffing maybe some sort of electric motor in there. Is that is that the cool thing right now? I don't really know. We've had a couple ideas. Just let me know what you think, guys. Comment below, share this video. This this could be a build video series where we, we do multiple videos. We could just surprise you guys and do something at the end. I want you guys to comment. Again, I, I'm, I'm to the point where I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna know what you wanna see. We're gonna make it happen, so. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around around this bike so you can see it without the motor in it. There is some cool fe new features on this new chassis and uh, we're, we're just excited to work with it. So again, let us know, comment, like, whatever you guys wanna see done with this build, let me know. I don't care if it's colors, choice of motor, give me a crazy idea, maybe it'll happen. If it happens, maybe you'll get some free stuff if we choose your idea, let us know. Thanks guys. First thing I noticed, now, I mean, we haven't had one of these yet. Like I said, it just got here today. See, it actually pulls off the opposite direction. So that's new. I'm just looking at it like, cool, I gotta more or less redesign my whole trait kit from the 2020, but hey, that's okay. We've done it on just about every year from uh, 2000 and up on the Hondas. So for the guys that are interested in a CR500 two-stroke build, you do not have to cut the front of this frame anymore. So the New Sierra 450 motor has the exhaust coming out dead center in the front. So we can more or less take these motor mounts out, move them in the right spot and stuff the 500 motor in and the exhaust is gonna cl clear right through the center of the frame. So we're not gonna have to cut the frame completely apart. So if you guys are doing one of these, I think, uh, I don't know if Honda was uh, scoping out all the builds that are going on online in terms of the 500s, but it's awesome that they did that for this chassis. So other than that, I mean, it is just a, Pretty generic looking dirt bike at the end of the day. Um, the fit and finish looks great. I, I'm impressed with it just looking at it. I wish I could have had a chance to spend some laps on it. You guys, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you, you have seen that I, I do ride dirt bikes too. <laughs> and I ride quads, trikes, and dirt bikes. Try to do a little bit of everything, including side by sides. But uh, yeah, guys, I don't know. Let me know. I mean, this is literally a blank canvas to me. Mike's going to be shipping us the gas tank. He was taking a couple more measurements off that for the uh, fuel pump flange. And uh, that's pretty much that. So once we get that, we're going to get that in there, maybe set whatever motor we decide in there and just start building from there, guys. Overall, I mean, this fit and finish on this new Honda is nice. Exhaust mount similar to the old, old style where they have it built into the front mount. This is the single exhaust on these new ones, so no more duels on them, unfortunately. I know guys love them. I, I personally, I mean, to be honest with you guys, I like the singles. I think it's cleaner. Um, the shorty duels do look cool, though. I mean, we've been putting those on a lot of builds. Honda did uh, tweak some uh, geometry in the front here. I mean, the whole chassis is brand new, but they did uh, tweak some... Uh, Geometry in the front from what I was reading. So again, I wish I could have rode it as a dirt bike, but hey, that's okay So if you guys are looking into 2021s for big wheel kits and of course trike kits, that's our most popular sellers 
you know, we're gonna obviously have them available for these bikes. It's pretty much it, guys. It's uh, time to head out. Uh, Christmas is uh, in two days. Um, I'm probably not gonna be here tomorrow. I think I'm gonna actually just take a day off for the first time in a while and uh, chill with the wife. So she needs uh, she needs a prick from the phone. She she answers honestly hundreds and hundreds of calls every day. We're to the point where we're gonna be probably hiring a team of uh, people to just answer the phone and answer emails. But uh, you guys have been amazing this year. I mean, I, I'm so blown away by the support, the calls, the emails. I mean, Facebook, Instagram, the messages is flying in all the time. But uh, again, I love that stuff, guys. Keep keep throwing us your. Uh, your, your messages, you know, keep telling us what you want to see in the future for builds. We love reading all the comments. Some of you haters out there, man, you guys can be a big pain in the ass, but it is what it is. Keep riding your old school trikes. Someday you're going to have to embrace the future. That's all I can say to you guys. But uh, I love the old school trikes. I love the guys that were the pioneers of the sport. They're awesome. You know, I'm not out to hate anybody. I love, uh, I love everything that everybody's doing. Um, I just want to see the sport grow. That's what it's all about. We just wanted to be able to go to the showroom of a Honda dealership and get a 2021 and turn in anything we want, whether it's a trike or a big wheel. That's our goal. That's what we do here. We want to stay current. We want to focus on newer models. We're still, of course, always going to make parts for the ATC 250R, but we're, we're really trying to focus on newer models. So couple things in the future too i'm just going to give you guys a quick update on that uh, we do plan on making our own trek chassis so we're going to have our own frame that is going to accept all the dirt bike components and we're going to do things like stuff big two-stroke motors in it and have those available as complete builds we also have some kits coming to modify the front ends on these to change the uh the steering angle there's going to be there's going to be so much stuff coming out like I said, all the guys that, that comment and say it doesn't handle or look like a 250R, I mean, come on, guys. You see that seat area right there? You think we don't have sag in this? When you sit on this bike, it's going to drop two to three inches. So anybody commenting about seat height, there's a lot that goes into, you know, just this this suspension, just the way it sits. And the second you put weight on it, it is going to drop down. So anybody worried about a tall seat, again, the thing drops down when you sit on it. So anyways, guys, I got to get out of here. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I lied and said I wasn't going to make another video. This is the second video follow up with the other video of the other trike. But uh, again, get us up to 50,000 subscribers. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing this page. We are giving away a full trike kit as soon as we hit 50K. One of you guys is going to get a full trike kit. You, you pick the bike, whether it's a CRF or a YZ, something like that. You pick the bike and put our kit on it and go. It's a $6,500 value. We're going to give it away to a lucky subscriber. Keep commenting on all the stuff. Keep sharing it. Let's see where this channel goes, man. You never know. Thanks, guys.